The bulk of that storm is in Georgia right now. Meteorologist Amy Wilmoth and photojournalist Jamie Munden drove the storm tracker more than 300 miles to the Savannah area. Amy joins us now live with a current look at the conditions there. Amy. We just this second, our alarms were going off on our phones. We got put under another tornado warning here in Savannah. That's the second one that we've run into so far today. I just checked the radar. We're good to go for now. But I did want to show you what the road looks like here. We came to this area because we heard about a car stuck in the water. There's actually multiple cars stuck in water. And we came across this area that we can't pass because it's covered in water. So um, they're already seeing roads covered in water. And this is with four and a half inches of rain and we're talking 20 inches isolated 30 inch totals possible so this is going to be a huge event we did have video taken a short time ago with one of the first rain bands as we were driving through savannah it was tough to navigate the roads they were getting covered in water quickly and it was very very windy so far the strongest gusts we've had um, that i've seen on our um, weather station here on the storm tracker has been 35 mile per hour gusts. So we have had some gusty winds, but I do think that the bigger threat here is going to be all of the rain. We're actually now under a flash flood warning until 1130 tonight. That's the longest flash flood warning I've ever heard of, but that's because things are not going to get better here anytime soon. We'll bring you more updates as we uh, drive through Savannah and eventually we're going to make our way back to North Carolina as Debbie nears the North Carolina state line.